What is happening, guys? Cowboy here, and if you're confused why everything is nice and sunny again, um, it's because we're actually doing a quick intro to this episode. So, originally, um, I had picked off, you know, right where I said I was going to, uh, basically struggled against these guys to make it all the way to the peak back there, didn't find an item, came back, attempted the boss twice, got molested by the boss, and then, uh, basically, over, like, three hours of attempts were, were taken before I finally killed the boss. Um... But, you know, our, our first video, where, you know, I usually keep in my first attempt or so, it ended up being, like, ten minutes, and it was mostly just me dying to these guys, because I eventually just suicide ran up top to try and find out what was up there. And then the attempts against the boss were absolutely horrible, because I didn't figure them out at all. So, instead of having the first attempt, just to show you guys that struggle this time around, uh, because it took so long, and because the attempt we actually killed, and the rest of that episode, I actually did get past the man serpents and grab the item, and then explore this area down here, um, I've decided to just use that as the full episode. So of course, didn't want to do that without any context, so this was just kind of the quick intro to explain what's going on. So with that being said, now we'll cut back to the actual footage of where I went and fought the boss. Alright guys, Nameless King is going down. It's been over three hours of fighting, but I finally have a strategy to take him down in phase two. Phase 2 is where I have the trouble. Phase 1 I can get through with only using one or two Estuses. Um, I've managed to actually flawless it twice now. So we're going to use the Ultra Greatsword for Phase 1. Take him down while he's in the Storm Drake. And then when he dismounts, that's when shit gets serious. So this fight can be kind of tricky from a uh, camera perspective. Best thing I would say is keep your lock on to him as you're running around. Um, and then when you go into attack, just quickly switch over to the Storm Drake. This is your easy damage window here. You never do that attack. Why do you have to do it now? My rolls are getting sloppy. So I had him in a uh, vulnerable state there. Could have gotten the uh, the riposte to finish him, but I'd rather switch over to my sword and shield now. Have those ready for a phase two of the fight. All right, here we go. Soul of the Storm Drake. And now we fight. So I'd highly suggest having a shield for this phase. It is fucking brutal. Try and dodge, but I'll still keep my shield up. But that way, if the dodge misses.
Oh shit, here we go. This is when shit gets serious. I can't figure out the dodge timing on that, so I just straight block it. Um, the shield is 100 physical, like 88 lightning. I think it's the Lothric Knight shield. You get it really early in the game, actually. Um, from the knights back in the high wall of Lothric area. Good shield to fight him with. I just have to focus on dodging everything. I have to go one hit at a time. Because your son is dead, Gwyn. Oh my god.
Oh my god. What a relief. To see that guy dead. Oh my fucking god. I'm not exaggerating when I said it. I've been fighting him for over three hours. Like, I was fighting him um, back on Friday night before the stream. Took long enough that I stopped. You guys might remember this lady from the stream. She got uppity with me. I see that you are now a finger of Rosaria. Your path is wholly different to mine. Gentle and kindled, I bid you farewell. If we meet again, it will be as adversaries. Alright, well, she's... So she's a blue sentinel. Let's see what happens if I join... Way the, no, not way the blue. Blue sentinels and then talk to her. Gentle and kindled, if we meet again... Gentle no! Come on, lady! We can be friends! Alright, so I guess you, you probably should have talked to her. Um, with blue sentinels on. I don't know. I had to respect, so I joined the other covenant. I wasn't sure if I could respect without it. Um, either way, let's level up. God, I can't believe that boss is down. Oh, what a fucking relief. No, I don't think I need any more vitality. Though it would be nice to be able to use the shield as well. So I'll put a point in there. We can always respect later. All right, let's see what we can get with this soul. I want that that sword spear he has. That thing is totally badass. Lightning storm, call forth furious bolts of lightning. <laughs> and if you're wondering why I said he's Gwyn's son, I mean, once the Slayer of Dragons, the former king of war god, tamed a storm drake, on which he led a lifetime of battle. This miracle is likely a tale of their bond. Um, storm curved sword. It's pretty badass. The nameless king, ally of the ancient dragons, fought beside the storm drake in countless battles. When the great beast fell, the king claimed his souls was the custom of the age of gods. Dragon hunting weapon from the age of the gods, the earliest form of a cross spear, serving as both sword and spear. Its owner was the nameless king, and defy hunter of dragons. The sword spear is imbued with lightning, of which he was the heir. Imbued with lightning, of which he was the heir. Obviously, Gwyn's firstborn. Anyway, this thing is pretty badass. I think this is like the new uh, imbue blade with the wrath of storm and a spinning motion and follow the strong attack to bear wrath. I like how this thing looks. This looks like it's super badass. Hold steel spear high in the air to summon fierce lightning that descends upon distant foes. I mean, I don't have the build for that at all. But um but I want it. So we're getting that. Oh man. Okay, so let's head back over there, investigate uh, what we now have access to. I um, also figured out that the altar that we saw... Um, this, oh, I know where we're at now. Um, let me see if I can... I don't remember if I can get there from this way. Yeah, yeah, I can. Um, so the altar all the way up there, the one that we like basically had to suicide to reach, which we can try and do that real fast. Um, that's where you get the final dragon piece. You gotta use the emote again. Man, these guys aren't nearly as threatening now that I have a... Uh, so much easier now that I have all this heavy armor on. Thank you for the chunk. We're gonna clear through these guys real fast here. I just need to, uh. Um. Oh. Uh, this. Alright, I can probably. Since you're all uppity at this point, I can probably just take you down with the, uh. Good old scimitar. Ow. Should have never took. Why did I. Why did I. Pull my shield. Let's keep that out.
guys are so annoying to deal with. Getting lots of chunks, so that's nice. They weren't dropping chunks before. I wonder if killing um, the firstborn is what's causing them to now drop chunks. Titanite slab. Oh, wrong way. Gotta go this way. You can see my 120 souls floating up there. Actually, now that we're actually doing this area, I might just take out the, uh, the struggle we had here initially. Since it's kind of like beyond the point now, since we're actually getting it without struggling through everything. I don't have my pyromancy rings on anymore. It's almost not even worth using without those rings. Man. I don't know if you can parry these guys either, but I'm not really, uh, fan of trying. I feel like taking that axe to the face would be brutal. Another chunk. Killing the first one had to have changed something because they were not just pooping out chunks like they were now. I was getting nothing but large titanite off of them. Alright, only two left. Come on, buddy. Oh wow, you're like almost dead. Retarded range. Whatever. I really want uh, what you can hit on the the drag back with that too? Yo, please tell me you drop that as a rare drop. Cause I would farm you until the end of time to have that as a weapon. So when he falls over like this, how you can hear the sound change? That's cause he's in a vulnerable state. You could um like kind of visceral him, I think. Large shard. Alright, anyway. Right, so I think I'll just cut out the struggle I had with these guys earlier. Because initially the beginning of this episode was going to be me. Um, running up here and getting my ass whooped. Twinkling Dragon Torso Zone. Okay. So... Now that we have that, it's going to be with the power of everlasting dragons offered to the towering dragon. The stone sends a nice light, and the torso of a dragon roar alongside an arch dragon mirage. The transformation is irreversible until death. I don't know, it's just upgraded. What? It might be. Yes, okay. So I have to just take off my armor. Dragon Man. Where are my stats at? Oh man, that weight ratio is nice. I'm gonna 
put them in and uh, check the effects on them. So in dragon form, we still got fire breath. And it doesn't cost any FP either, that's pretty brutal. Gives us the buff. Wow! Twinkling mode is badass. That's pretty awesome. Gotta say, that's that's actually really cool. I am a dragon. It's interesting though that all you had to do was take off your clothing to to put it on. I'm I'm so used to too much time with Dark Souls 2 where you you know just press it and it removes your armor. Go look for loot. Feels so light. Look at those speed rolls. It's nice. There's got to be more than just that one slab. Like, this is just, what is the point of this giant open area? Oh, here we go. I see something. I see something. Ooh, Dragon Slayer helm, armor, gauntlets, and leggings. Nice. And this brings us uh, back around to where that dude was. And our other bonfire was. Stop that. Wasn't the bonfire here? It is. There we go. Alright. Um, actually, and I wanna. Before we wrap up completely, um, we're gonna check. I'm gonna check all three dragon stones and see if there's um, aesthetic differences between them. This torso. Alright, so it looks the same. It'd be cool if when you roll off, your guy's like, Aah! makes a dragon cry instead of a, a human cry. That'd be pretty neat. Where are my embos? Put my embos back on. Ember. All right. Either way, back to Firelink Shrine we go. The Nameless King is down. We have Ornstein's armor. Um, at this point, that is all of the optional bosses. We now have all the optional bosses dead. Um, we're not completely wrapped up, though. There's still Havel's armor to get which I think I know where it's at. I just gotta go snag it. Um, and then on top of that, oh, controller came unplugged. Oh, whatever, we can 
end here. Um, but on top of that, uh, I also found the Pyromancer, so we're going to go through that in the next episode, as well as the uh, Dark Moon place that I'm supposed to find the chick to marry that kept getting talked about when I was talking to the, uh, the one merchant. So either way, guys, thanks for coming on by. So, so relieved that the Nameless King is down. And we will see you next time with more Dark Souls 3.